All the Nikki here with my final Mythic Lazo Guide campaign mission walkthrough, Silent Auditorium. I skipped the cutscenes, I will be doing that throughout the mission. Sure to start, okay let's go up this post right here. Negative. Alright, and I switched over to my threat sensor. We'll be in touch. Now I know where most of these guys are. The There's some variants here, but I just wanted to show you how many enemies we had to deal with. The first we want to take out the uh, shade turret there and shade turret there. Oops, I missed. Shade turret there. Just so a grunt will not climb on and start firing at us. And of course, we got to jump with the uh, tank gun. Now, way in the back, there's going to be several brutes. There'll be a brute there on the left. There'll be an elite left. And sometimes you got to be careful with that guy because he'll throw grenades at you as soon as he sees you. And then he goes and hides, of course. And then we get a lot of grunts and a couple of grunt mules, shield, shielded jackals. And the grunt mules will throw grenades at you. Now over here on the right, I believe I had already taken him out, but over here on the right, short, is another brute that you've got to be concerned with. All the brutes have rocket launchers. So now it's just a matter of finding them and firing. That's where the threat sensor comes in handy. And then way back there is a little jackal. Let's see what else they got going on here. I can hear the grunt mule. I want to save him uh, to get my shields back if I've taken gas. I'm sure he's at. Oh, he's right there below me. Okay. Another shield jackal. Looking around to see if there's anybody else left to take out. There we go. Like I said, that grunt mule likes to throw grenades. I think I got everybody. I'm not sure here. There might be another brute back here somewhere. No, that was a grunt. Okay. Alright, I switched back over to my threat sensor, fully upgraded. Give me camo. And I'm going to kind of circle around this guy and take him out. And my shields are back. Alright, now before I advance past this one pillar here, I want to see if there's anybody else I need to deal with. Oh yeah. Now, I can't throw grenades uh, with my uh, tank gun out, and that's why I switch back and forth between that and my sword. Alright, coming out of there is going to be a Brute Berserker and a couple of Shielded Jackals and maybe a, a Skirmisher out of there, a Brute, and a couple of Shielded Jackals, and I believe I may have just gotten everybody. When the music stops, we're good. Now, if I hadn't gotten that Grunt Mule earlier on, I would have saved one of the, one of the Jackals for my shields. Alright, here I got two grunts, a brute, and an elite. There we go. And by the way, you don't want to be using your thrust, thruster pack with your tank gun out because you'll just go into a crouch. You know, it is amazing to me that I can take out an elite using splash damage. Whoa, look out, sentinel beam. But to go back to that, but not, but not a direct hit, unless maybe it's a headshot. Somebody's out there. there it is. Now notice I've got my uh, dynamo grenades up, and the reason I use that is that it, if, if there's anybody nearby when I throw, uh, they will be frozen there momentarily. This is a way to check for hiding enemies. Okay, I saw the sword, so we're good to go. Got the elite down. Okay, now we need a power seed there to get through this this door. Oh, 
Up next, we got a couple of hunters. A couple of the red hunters. They're a little bit more shielded. Alright, I'm going to switch over to my threat sensor when I get down here. And the idea here is to fire and move. Because they will... Oh, see, that's what happens when you get tank in up. Also, you want to kind of fire at their feet. Because that will launch them and push them back. Uh-oh, there's one down. All right, gotta keep moving. Four seconds every time you use the thruster pack. Four seconds of camo. All right, we're oh, okay. Now notice I launched him. Right? Launched him again. Of course, I'm not sure where. Oh, there he is. Okay, that's it. Scratch two hunters. So if you've got an upgraded thruster pack and you can uh, shoot the tank gun and switch over and move, switch to your other weapon and move, then okay? this is not too difficult a thing to do. No. Okay, on to the next. Not really. I bet. Now as we go through the mission, uh, we're, we're presented with some challenges, but it's very doable to get to the end with the... Uh, with a harbinger, which I'll explain right before we enter that area. Okay, back to the thruster pack. We're going to have a bunch of grunts, a couple of shield, three shielded jackals, an elite, and, and a brute. Initially, anyway. Got to be careful here because it. Oh, shoot. Get the change over. The, uh, the grunts will suicide. You gotta be careful. That's why I keep backing up. Notice there, here we go. There's a suiciding right there. Now I throw it, throw the, uh, throw the dynamo grenade, the shock grenade, and that will shock and freeze suiciding grunts as well. There is a brute. There might be two brutes in here, I'm not sure. And notice I really haven't advanced too far. There it is, the elite. I think he'll go out with a headshot. There is some group. Okay. So now I believe I am down to grunts and shielded jaggers. Notice again, I am firing and moving. I don't want to be in one place for any length. Uh oh, the elite's still there. I think I might have got him that time. I'm not sure. I know that I have, again, this is a zero death run, and I have done previous runs where I thought I took out the elite and I didn't, and he gave, he took me out, either by grenade or by sword, because he'll go camo. I could have sworn there was another grunt down there. I'll be darned. Oh, there he is. Okay, I did get my shields back. All right, a brute and two grunts coming through that doorway right there. And most of the time, there's a fusion core there that helps just throwing grenades. Sometimes not. Amazing that the grunts survived and the brute didn't. Okay. Dance to get those guys to come up, the Sentinels. And of course, they now what's interesting is that when they bring their shields up, they're easier to take out because they're a bigger target. I just killed the roof. Next one, there's one way back there. Come on now. Okay, got it. Now I got several grunts and shielded jackals to deal with. 
Alright, so I got my shields back there. Always take the opportunity to get the shields back. Alright, that was the shield of Jackal down there. Again, look what I'm doing. I am shooting and moving. I could have used him to get my shields back, but I got him. I'm already pretty sure I got full shields there. Alright, I gotta come back. Oh, oh I didn't get him. I mean, that time. And another guard. Now down below there is a turret. There's a couple of grunts around that turret. That's the turret. And there's a couple of grunts right behind that little structure there. And if you fire at the right angle, you might be able to get them both out. Yep, there they go. I think I got them all. Now, a little bit further down, those midway posts. Uh, there'll be a an elite and a brute hiding, and you can launch them to take them out. You don't need to get, to get a get a kill with. Oh, there's a grunt. Like, how about that? And now he's gone. You don't need to get a kill with a direct hit. You can you can launch, hit him nearby, hit nearby with a tank gun and launch. All right, and now I'm trying to take out everybody I can down at the far end. Some I can clear out because there's a brute and a leak and some grunts and stuff down there. And when I finally get bored, I'll come on down and try a little bit closer range. And notice I'm still using my thruster pack. Okay, I think I just saw a brute or an leak there go to the right. I think it's an leak. No, it's a brute. Okay, the brute is gone. Throwing the grenades to see if there's anybody else down there. It will freeze them. Alright, up top is a brute officer, a shield and jackal, and a skirmisher, and coming out the door will be a couple of grunts. And oh, and don't forget the sentinel. Alright, that was a twofer right there. Again, when they throw their shields up, it's a lot easier to take out. Alright, I got the delete. Let's see a story. Now, let's see what we got here. We got one grunt. <laughs> Two grunts. Alright, that's it for this room. On to the next. Okay, by the way, if you go through that room, clear that room without taking out any of the sentinels, uh, you can get the uh, bandana skull. I've so much I'll, sh I'll show you where that's at when we get to it. But my, I highly suggest that being done on easy difficulty. For the reason I haven't gotten the skull yet. Because you can just grapple by everybody. Do you know its history? Its true purpose. Or thruster pack if you've got all the Spartan cores in an easy run. I have little need for Which I also suggest doing. This ring is all I need. Alright, I am taking an old man break. So I'm letting this little uh, this little scene here run. As soon as that light bridge comes up you can bypass it. The rest of it. I will be back momentarily. You know, about another 10 seconds or so. I'm watching the audio track right now. Yep, here we go. Okay, this next room here was similar to an earlier mission. 
we're getting closer but to where First off, we got a brute, and there's a grunt mule out there as well. But I was going to say deliberate. Like the deal was right away. That's what I'm looking for. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. To the right and to the left in the second level are snipers. But first off, down the lower level are a couple of shielded jackals. Again, I'm using my thruster pack so the uh, snipers can't get a bead on me. I'm waiting for him to make an appearance up there. But in the interim, let's get that guy. I think I see a sniper. Yep, yep, sniper on the right's done. And another shielded jackal is done. Sniper on the left is taking his time getting out. So, there will be one group coming up close, and most of them are in the back. Sometimes I can get through. Oops, there's another group. Okay, got him. Just wish that sniper would come out. I think that's him. Yep, that's him. He's not. Okay. Now, there's there'll be some skirmishers and grunts down here below. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there is a grunt down there somewhere. Now way in the back, sometimes there is. Uh, sometimes there is a brute officer uh, with, um, well, I'm not sure what weapon he has, but you got to be a little bit careful. It might be a Hydra. Or he's, or he's carrying a, uh, he's carrying some kind of, uh, carrying some kind of, uh, either a real gun or turret, portable turret. That's what I was trying to get. This, this one here requires a lot of accuracy. Again, accuracy in the jump. Alright, I'm looking for somebody to get my shields back with. They're still kicking. Now, I don't see anybody down here, but I hear them. Oh, shoot. I guess not. So, apparently, I feel that my shields are okay. Again, you know, try to leave one enemy, one of the grunts or shielded jackals kicking alive, get your shields back to the melee. Alright, skirmishers. Oh! Come here, come here, come here, don't jump! I hate those guys. They got uh Whoa. Where'd he come from? <laughs> okay. If you advance far enough, if you advance far enough, you'll have two group berserkers coming out of the middle there. So you gotta be careful of that. And I apparently I had advanced. Normally I don't, but I was going after that uh, skirmisher and he drew me far enough towards the end here that uh, that brought out the Berserkers. But it looks like I've got everybody now. I'm really kind of looking for somebody to get my shields back with, and there you go. Thank you. Ooh, the shields were down pretty badly. That way, in the next room, this is the next to last room, I don't have to worry about that unless, unless I take a lot of gas. Okay, to the left will be two grunts, or grunt and shield jackal, and an elite. And coming out of that open doorway there will be a brute and a shield of jackal. There goes the brute. Two shield jackets. Looking 
for the elite. I think I got you. Alright. Now, the question is, do I want to go after that rock get my shields back? Apparently not. grenades up there to make sure that elite's done. I don't hear anything. Oh yeah, now I see him. And the sword. Okay, on to the last. Now this is where we meet the Harbinger and have to take the Harbinger out. So while we listen to Advent Resolution here, I'll explain what is going to happen. We're going to go into this big circular room. And I'm going to skip the cutscene, but as soon as we come out of the cutscene, the Harbinger will be in the middle with an energy shield. And I have to take out all the banish coming out of three doors to drop that shield. And I drop it, and I put the fire on the, uh, on the Harbinger, and somehow get her down. She retreats and creates another shield, rinse and repeat with a harder banish wave. And then finally rinse and repeat again with a really hard banished wave. And on, after the third wave, uh, she's she's uh, vulnerable, and it's a matter of taking her out. That's the that's the deal. That's the plan here. By the way, if you go across that second light bridge after you skip the uh, sentinels in that one room, it'll open and you get the bandana skull if you haven't already got it. All right, here we go. On our way, I'm pretty sure I got full shields, which also is highly recommended going into this fight. Now I will get them back, hopefully, uh, after in my first battle, and potentially in my second, second battle and third battle. But we'll see. A weapon pointed into the universe. Nothing left to lose. So it's going to take a little bit of time to, uh, just a little bit of time to uh, get to that room and start the fireworks. Got to go up the elevator, and we got to look at one more mandatory cutscene. Pick her up, and then uh, then we'll see the other cutscene. And find out that uh, Cortana is the one who kind of destroyed the ring. It is time for you to make and everybody thinks uh, she's the one that took out Atriox. Thank you, Atriox. You helped me. You really did. Would you humor me? If you knew how you were going to die, how would you live your life differently? I would change nothing. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Uh, you do Making things right. Okay, the whole point of this was, it was to stop the Banished the and the Harbinger from combining okay. to, number one, activate the ring, and number two, bring back a race called the Endless. I think the Harbinger is one of them. And now, supposedly if Atriox is gone, now it's a matter of getting the uh, Harbinger defeated so the Endless will not be resurrected. So here we go. Sacrificed herself. Now the Banished will always come out of three doors. They've been pretty consistent for me, but they, they may change. Okay, here's door number one. First wave. A brute and some miners. Door number two, some miners. And then door number three, two brutes. Maybe a skirmisher. There, 
there. I've intercepted okay. the carrier wave from this transmitter. Fire at the Okay, notice what I did there. I fired at her to bring her down and then uh, sword to get my shields back at the end. Now I'm gonna go around to the next little platform. Alright, notice that her uh, energy shield is back up. And now I'm looking for the doors to open. I'm not really sure which there we go. Door number one. Now I gotta be careful here because we're gonna have some skimmers coming out. With rocket launchers. Oh, and okay. Okay, that's that's door number two. Where's door number three? Okay, down low. If you take him out down low, that's the one that's got skirmisher and group officer. Okay, I think I got everybody. Okay, next one's down. The endless. Okay, this time she came up. That's where it gets frustrating. She also throws these uh, bombs at us. That ooh, all the way across. Come on back. No. All right, I got her. Okay, so that means that was one of the bombs, by the way. It's, it's a uh, it's a dynamo bomb. Okay, get to her while she's down. Okay, my shields came back. Uh, she's back in the middle. The third, the shield comes up again, and now we got to deal with the third wave. Not really sure. It's going to come out of one of the lower doors here. Well, I'm looking for which one's going to open no first. Idea, but I doubt it's good. Wait, there's here we go. Else here. Door number one. Something's helping me. That's an elite. Another elite. Now I'm trying to take these guys out, but now I'm going to switch over to my thruster pack so they don't know exactly where I'm at. Get away from door number three, which is right below me. And I've got a brute chieftain and one or two elites to deal with, and possibly. Oh, he got me real quick. Alright, the chieftain's done. Now it's a matter of getting uh, the elite, and it looks like there is a skimmer there too. The elite was firing at me. So I can use the dynamo grenades to freeze them. Now, obviously I'm pretty nervous right here. Oh, he's still kicking. Alright, I think I got them all, so the shield should come down. Alright, back to the grappling hook to get to him real quick. And that should be just about it. All right, once she is down, once she is down, then uh, that, is, that really signals the end of the mission as far as I am sorry. finishing Silent Auditorium and getting the uh, Headmaster achievement, which I got in an earlier run, by the way. I actually got it in a practice run. Okay, I'm letting this cutscene run out a little bit. Uh, I could bail out right now. We need extraction. Of course you do. Because the way. mission is officially complete. The endless will return. <laughs> but there's a little surprise at the end. That's why I want to run the cutscene now. Okay. You'll figure something out. Of course I will. I'm. They'll pair you with another AI. Also, it's a uh, it's a swan song for Cortana. It won't be me, but you know that, right? But that doesn't matter. It's just another echo. She's right, John. Just another echo. Sorry, I'm messing with you. I just had a feeling. That's what she would say. Do you see what I see? So much potential. I'm sorry. I didn't have long to plan this. A few milliseconds, really. I hope it worked out. Look at us. We just keep saying goodbye, don't we? But this isn't an end. It's a chance to make amends, to 
rectify mistakes. And it starts here. I was wrong. I thought that I could do this on my own. But I forgot that the whole point of all of this, the entire reason that I chose you in the first place was that we were supposed to be a team. Perfectly suited, perfectly matched, perfectly perfect. In these final moments, I know what my last mission is. I need to make sure you two learn from my mistakes, become stronger because of them. I chose well, Master Chief. I really did. Now, it's up to you. Are you all right? I don't know what to say. Scratch that. We need to get out of here. Like now. Options. I'm thinking. Yes, I know, I know. Think faster. Maybe there's a way to... Was that you? Would it help if I said yes? Probably. But we don't know where it's going. Or even if it's going anywhere. Any other suggestions? No, but this is a really bad idea! Let's not do that again. I did try to tell you it was a bad idea. Chief! <laughs> Your vehicle just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I thought I lost you. Where did you go? Echo 216. Stay put. I'm coming to you. Where are we? Chief, I think the better question is when are we? I don't know how, but we've been gone for days. Three days, to be precise. This ring is different than the others. The banished and the Harbinger were looking for something that was never found. Why would the Forerunners hide something and throw away the key? Doesn't that scare you? No. You? Of course not. Is anyone going to ask me what I think? I guess not. Get inside, big guy. Anyway. Almost done here, but after after Silent Auditorium, uh, really happy to see you. We get to go to the open world and do all the side missions if we want, if we haven't done them already. What do we do now? I'm not going to be recording those, but let this play out a little bit longer because I mean, it really is a surprise at the end. Wait. all this happened but what what is it we still don't know your name we can't keep calling you echo 216 no you can't esparza fernando esparza it's nice to meet you esparza fernando esparza good work soldier and what about you what about me what do i call you any ideas Do you think it would be okay? For sure? You get to choose your name. Then, I think... I think I might have the perfect one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, we'll have the epilogue coming up after. Well, I cut out all the uh, all the credits besides these.
so we can go to the epilogue. And this is what really caught me by surprise. Remember when I said that everybody thought Atriox was dead? Including all, well, actually including the Vanished. This is the door, I think, to open to see the Endless. That is the key. So I'm, I'm operating under the assumption that this happened after Silent Auditorium. So here are all the uh, all the endless, the DNA of all the endless, if you will. And we're just about to see the surprise, which is Atriox. It's going to be quick. So, anyway, uh, this is Silent Auditorium on Mythic Lazo Difficulty. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you in your quest for Mythic Lazo or Lazo. This is Olden Aki, signing off. Take care, everybody.